doody, folks. Oh, how is everyone on this Wednesday evening? Well, Wednesday evening in the UK. We have tea. frequency hum. Thanks for that. Yeah, I can see. I can see it on the uh, level on the meters. It's normally, this kind of thing is normally, oh, ah, damn it. I'm just bang my camera. That should be better now. Still have some, uh, I think there's still some noise there, isn't there? Is there still some noise? Let me know. It's gone. We like gone. When it comes to humming noises thank you i post still some background noise in here but that's quite normal that's because i've got a noisy old fridge among other things <laughs> so how you doing i post i'll have to go back through some of your uh your comments because um, I did see some of them earlier but I was I was working so I couldn't really focus on them I think uh, Laurie tried to answer some of the questions but we can deal with things some of those things oh, there's loads of dust everywhere here I need to sort this table out this desk rather um, 
hopefully Laurie will be along as well but um, I think there are a few things he mentioned that we need to sort out um, this is the first one so I fixed this so I should probably commit this as that's now counting correctly um, can you read the text here or do I need to up the size a little bit are you working today I post are you still at work or working from home whatever you can read it you sure um, so one of the things I've changed here was um, before these numbers were like that and that caused all sorts of problems it worked but ex two extra segments stayed on let me just show you because it defaults to um, a silly size so if I now make that and upload that can you see the segment that gets left on so the the bottom one it's actually uh, segment C and D so you'll see when it gets up to B C C is wrong D E is wrong 0 is right 1 is wrong so it overlaps because this concatenation isn't using these as one bit values it's defaulting, it's defaulting to something else and it's kind of weird the effect it has strangely but if you're um, definite about it and do it this way then it does work properly I did kind of think about this just before I went to sleep last night but it was too late I was fading off by that point I was knackered and then I had no time this morning because it was a very early start but uh, Laurie spotted it anyhow thank goodness um, mine yours is different versus mine um, yes quite possibly I mean it's been done a bit like this for a while in that I mean some of this came from the MX code which um, Laurie did a lot, lot of I mean I've changed this because what he gave me wasn't blade sorry tile oriented I keep using blade when I meant to use tile and I confuse the hell out of myself um, so I just converted that over so it uses a tile the good thing here is I just change it in two places so if this was in tile position two, I'd just change it here and change it here and it would still work. Theoretically. I'm not going to move it around now because I can't be bothered, but you get the picture. This is kind of odd looking because of the way that the pinouts are done on the tile. Uh, so this position is actually the decimal point and because these are driven active low the digits making that one turns the decimal point off if I make this zero you'll see what I mean now we get all the decimal points on This one here doesn't make any difference. That's an unused pin on the tile. It's not connected to anything. So that can be set to anything. But obviously I need something that concatenates to the 12 IOs that are represented in tile, any tile, whether it's tile one, two, three or four. Yes, um, Western long they're active low effectively because the um, the display is common anode um, so this the uh, 
CA pins represent uh, the free bits that um, that are driving the seven segments and it's scanning through them. Um, let me get that decimal point off. To normal. So basically, yeah, it's very simple. This is just, um, you know, ah, oh, audio volume seems a bit lower than usual. You are right, but I haven't lowered the level. In fact, it's on maximum. We did play around with it um, on. Um, at the beginning, Laurie, because there was a buzz. Hold on, I wonder if I can. Let me see if this makes any difference. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. No. One, two, one, two, one, two. That's on full, actually. This is one, two, one, one, two. Yeah. It's as loud as it's going at the moment. Um, oh, well, oh, I know what it might be. Bear with me. Hold on. I wonder if this will make any difference. Uh, input device. One, two. That's on full. One, two. One, two. One, two. Uh, hold on. Webcam, webcam. And log input codec. Yeah, that's right. It is very low. I wonder why it's so low. Hold on, let, I might just disconnect it and reconnect it. Hold on. Let me just double check. Don't think done anything different don't think so anyhow one two one two one two one two one two one two three four five no, it's, not, it's not doing anything different one two three four. I'm gonna disconnect and reconnect so that makes any different start buzzing one two one two one two one two one two is that any better or is it about the same it looks about the same to me it's strange I don't know why that's at a slightly lower level because it's actually it's right full up towards the very top and I don't normally have it that far up strangely very odd. Hmm. I mean, I have to go really loud, and it's still not going in the red, and that's not normally the case. Normally, it goes in the red really easily. So it's quite possible that the volume is lower to you guys. Um, is that still lower? Laurie. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. One, two. Advanced audio properties. Balance. <coughs> Excuse me. That's not helpful. Uh, Mike. One, two, no, I don't know. That doesn't seem to improve it. I don't know, folks, really. I'm a bit baffled. 
as to why it be any different than it was before. Pretty sure it's the same as it was before. Seems to be the computer side that's different, if anything. Which I don't quite understand. Unless my mic's going out. But yeah, it's definitely less um, sensitive than it used to be. Here we are. One more thing to deal with. Oh, dearie, dearie. Um, yeah, we just have to um, deal with it as it is at the moment. I can't get any more volume cranked out. I did update the OS. I wonder if that could have made any difference. Seems unlikely. Um, so is it good enough for you to hear, Laurie? And everyone? Because I'll continue with it. I'll have to investigate offline. I'll bring the mic a bit closer. Twisted my melon, man. Why is it turning like that? It's not meant to do that. this I might have to make some adjustments offline at some point I think that is about as good as we can Right. Anyhow, where were we? Um, yeah, so I fixed the seven segment, Nori, in case you missed that. You were, of course, right. But it's kind of weird how it goes wrong. Difficult to imagine that that would have been, you know, a 32 bit number. Because how would the uh, how would the others? I suppose it's thirty two bit that way, but those would be fine. The LSBs would be fine. It would be the MSBs that would all be wrong, which would figure because it's C and D that were being corrupted. So in other words, it was treating that as if it was, you know, that, I guess, or something other than one, something larger. Anyhow, that's now working lovely, as you can see, down below. Um, I should probably commit that actually, whilst I remember. Um, that 
C fix C C D segments. Very good. But it's just we should have double check that that is operating normally. Yes. Right. I should try not to mumble as well, given the um, state of the volume. So one of the things I've been doing this week is updating. You'll see here. Um, there's now a, this is part of the um, MyStorm uh, repository, which is, let me give you the URL. So I've been updating this and adding in the uh, Verilog parts. So under the Verilog section, um, I added obviously the Ice Logic buff, the PCF, um, the pin constraints file, um, which we'll come back to in a minute. So I need to make some changes. Um, and in terms of samples, I added trail. Um, so this is um, actually a blade example. So you pass in, in this case, six LEDs and it does the trail symbol. So if I look at the top level, what we're doing is we're passing in a blade. That could be blade one, two, three or four. Um, and then when we run this, um, and we, what do we want to make? Prog. So then we get the trial, um, which you can see if you remember the old Black Ice MX trial. Uh, it's the same sort of thing, but running on the blade. We uh, that could do with some contrast, mind you. This will change the color. Yeah, that kind of blots out the um, amber quite a lot. Attenuates it more than the others. So the trial example that's in the um, Verilog folder shows the use of the blade. The other one you saw, which was the um, um, seven segment, and of course that uses a tile. Um, So again, we can just change this if we're changing the position of the uh, tile. I have to change it in two places in this file, unfortunately. Um, and then the one that we already had, which was just um, Blink, which is this one. And we also have the HDMI example met, but I don't have the monitor connected to that or the card yet. Blink, we already know, that's just a simple one. Um, 
So onto the uh, ICE Logic Bus PCF. So I've been adding to this and there are some issues we've got to fix. One of the good things that I've added, this was um, I post side here, this diagram. Um, so he was posting it up trying to describe which way around things were because we were discussing you know, where tile one was, tile two, and where blade one was and blade two, etc. So this is a great little diagram for that. Uh, in fact, that should be USB-C. I thought I changed that. Maybe I didn't. Um, and this diagram is also in the boards file, which I may go and move in a moment because it's not necessarily in the right place. But that's helpful if you're trying to decide what's what. The only thing this doesn't have is the PMOD coverage. And we do need to um, talk about that. Um, but there were some issues in here as well that we needed to fix. So all of the worn no ports, all of those need to be replaced. I don't actually know why we're using those, but um, let's replace those with the straight. No one. Ah, let's not do that. Let's just copy that, put that in there. Thus. And then. Can I replace all of this? Because that was wrong. <laughs> I post this. I guess for me, the two boards are not are most connected. Eh? And so that diagram is perpetually backwards for me. <laughs> well, you can always move them around, of course, your tiles. Um, so that was one of the things we had to fix. What else did we have to fix? There was something else. Laurie mentioned some stuff. Hold on. Was it in here? the other stuff All right, that must have been in the black edge channel I didn't get myself any more water, which I will have to when I finish my tea. PMOD 4B is not correct. Okay, let's look at that. PMOD 4B, this one, yeah, it's even written wrong. Mod 4B uh, should be captured. It. Oh no, it's not got all of the. Um, all of the IOs. Hold on. Um, where did I get that from? So I'm missing zero. Uh, I think I know where that is. Mod 4B, C3, C8. Um, C3, 
So the one I'm missing here is C8. Let's fix that. Zero. And let's see. Eight. Good spot. P mods one to three are not in the file. That is quite correct. These I got from this file here. Hold on. From the boards file. But I should have done those as well, shouldn't I? So for these ones, let's do this. So this is going to be P mod 1A. So we're going to do this kind of thing. Let's just copy this. Uh, and we're going to go One eight. Uh, there is a diagram for the MX, wasn't there? Um, be nice to have the equivalent. It's a bit more difficult with this because there's actually two positions, of course, for the double tile, the PMO double tile. Um, which is going to confuse things just a tad. B, don't we? So let's do that. Put that there. And then this should be H1. J1. Uh, B1. C4. Get 
Fill that. Comment this. Then copy that. And do that. And before I forget, this is two. Two, 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 two. And then this is going to be 2B. Oh, not 2B. To be or not to be, that is the question. Good if there is a transform tool that transforms from the Pi board to the PCF. We did talk about that at one point, didn't we? Um, then we're going to do free A, free A here. I do have a problem with Visual Studio Code um, when trying to select text for some reason. It doesn't seem to quite work the way that my head is used to things working. I'm still learning this slightly weird behaviour. When it comes to selections, it, it seems to do something sticky and odd that confuses the um, bejesus out of me. some unknown reason. Uh, E1 D2 and E2 and this can be deleted that can be commented Uh, and then we've got one more to do, which is the bees. The free bees. Um, there's definitely something odd about the way things are selected. Um, Oh. Do it again. C one. D one. D three. And E three. That should all just about right now of any luck. So one will be the upper double tile position and the other one will be the lower or the second position. As to which is which I'm not quite sure. Pinouts position one. Uh, Um, what story saying? Uh, 
Oh yeah, the git ignore file. Um, right, bear me a sec. I'm just going to grab. Nice and cold. Um, get ignore, get ignore, get ignore. So I need to anything dot JSON, I guess, in bin, right? I prefer not to do entire directories really, but um, Jason, where is that? It's in bin. So is it saying delete that? It's saying modified. It's not saying deleted. Hmm. Will it actually remove files that are already committed? Presumably not. Can you use wildcards? Do you can you do something like that? And if so, how do you do multiples? You have to um, serialize these. Right, what was it? Jason, wasn't it? And what was the other one you mentioned? Dot bin, obviously. Was there another one? Funny. So if I do uh, stay do status, would that tell me? See it's still it's showing that as modified. Oh not stage for commit. Oh. Dot dot slash dot dot slash dot get ignore. Uh, this is um, this is in any directory, any subdirectory, um, lorry, not the top level. Um, so would we have to put uh, that uh, 
Is that how it works? BB bin, honestly. Change is not a stage for commit. So does that mean that the ICE logic bus PCF um I wonder why it's still got that. Add ticket ignore. See, that's very specific. So if I now save that and then do a. Yeah, that still sees the same thing. I think I'm already ignoring that from the above. Is that right, being able to use the wild cards like that? Is that the way that git ignore works? I'm not a git ignore specialist, but I'm not seeing a lot of um, wild cards in the ones that are here. There I see one, there I see one. So these should cover that, um, the binary part of the build in the Verilog sections, right? So you think just having bin slash will do it? That doesn't need to have a star. Wild card. See. Let's just do a build of uh, trail. Hold on. Um, so bin is there. It doesn't grey these out here, but 
this is just a file view, so that probably wouldn't. But in the yeah, it's not showing in here for changes. And oops, and get status doesn't show those so. But then they haven't been added either, so what I don't understand is why I'm seeing this one here. Oh, I can discard the changes. <clears throat> Let me just um, commit the uh, um, or is it four A? Was it four B? I've just um, pushed those up anyhow. So those should be on the server now. Can I just double check? Verilog. Um, so if I look under seven segment, yeah, that's got a bin directory docs, obviously. Got to do something about that, actually. Damn it. My storm. Verilog, HDMI. Yeah, they've all got bins. <laughs> How annoying. Um, have I got. Yeah. I've just. Because I've synced it, I've got all the bins back. <laughs> Shit. Um, so if I now delete these. Hold on. Um, yeah. So if I now go and look at this, it should show all of these being deleted at that. Those should be fixed on the server. Let me just have a quick look. Looks good to me. Yeah, that seems to have done it. In the file for you, I don't think it does show them as dimmed if they're not included. But it might do. It's ignoring that Pi cache, isn't it? So if I now do a build, hold on. Uh, where am I? Trail, make prog. So if I look at trail now, bin is there, but that's not dimmed. And if I look here, it tries to add those in. So it's definitely not working like that. Um, right, let's get rid of that. We're missing something. 
this isn't working but you reckon let's just try it so what you were saying is just to uh, clumsy right copy just do that yeah And let's build again. Yeah, it's grayed out. Nice. And yeah, the only thing that's updated is Git. Okay, I clearly need to learn a bit more about um, ignore. It didn't quite work as I thought it did, but there you go. Unless it does the star star thing. You don't need to do the star, it just does that. Very good. Everyone happy with my get ignore now? Right, back to the PCF. Is this PCF now correct or was there something else? Guys, girls, <coughs> folks, everyone. This um, needs to be rephrased. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do at all. What I wanted to do was go. Should be. Like us. Well, it didn't make sense. Oh, damn it. Clumsy. Um, anything else that needed change technology? We still do not. We still don't have anything that explains the PMOD numbering. Could add it to the diagram at the top. How do we do that? I mean, are you thinking that sort of thing? Next one, two. Uh, I mean, we've got for that now. One, one A, one B, two A, two B, three A, three B. 
one, two, three. Is it that way around? Um, like that. In fact, it shouldn't be one comma. It should be one comma two, right? Is that about right? Let me just give that another space. Like that, you mean? Does it go um, six five four rather than four five six? Is it like oh, I see what you're saying. Um, Is it that way round? Is that the way it is? Or is it five and four actually? Oh, for Christ's sakes! Mucking type today, excuse my French. Been one of them. Does that make sense now? with confused eye post. <laughs> so this assumes that you've fitted, you know, if you fit two double PMOD tiles, this is how they would be numbered. And the only other thing we have to specify is a lower or upper and B lower or upper. Do you remember, Laurie? Uh, yeah, Weston saying something a bit more advanced, like a Python script that takes input and ordering of the tiles and spits out a PCF file. We did actually think of doing that, Weston. We were discussing that at one point of having a kind of. Um, 
either a Python file to start with that produced the PCF file or some sort of neutral file that the Python, a Python script will read and create its own board file and stuff as well as a PCF but it's probably easier to have it in um, in a Python board file to, to start with. A is upper, B is lower. So how will we illustrate that? <laughs> That's a bit more tricky isn't it? Is that what's confusing you I post? Um, well, e each the P mod is a double tile, so it uses all the connectors, the twenty-four pins from two tiles, to make you know three lots of eight, or six lots of four for the P mods. That's why it's a double tile, so that it adds up right. You can't have a P mod on a single tile because you only use. You know, it will be three fours or an eight plus a four. Whereas if you go to the full 24, two lots of 12, then you can do three eights or three doubles. Or in our case, a mixed mod, which is two doubles and a separate double. Sounds like PMOD is a slot naming convention. I mean, maybe the tile should be inside and the PMOD should be outside. What do you reckon? Um, currently the P mod tile adapters only come on a double tile. If you look at what you've got, um, I post, you'll see it's a double tile with the P mods on. It's not a single tile, it's a double tile. And it's wired as a double. So there's 12 on each pin, that, that gives you 24, that, those 24 Digital pins are then split out into, you know, a set of um, 16 and 8. Right, um, do I have... So this is a double tile, so it's two tiles wide. It doesn't split into two, right? It uses all the pins. So you've got 12 on one side, digital, then 12 on the other side. These are all combined to give you the P mods. Um, I've got my headers, where are the headers?
So in here, so you've got the double set, which is like a mix mod on one side, and then And then you've got the smaller one. On the other side, you see. But between those two, there were 24 digital pins taken from both of the tile connectors. Acker double tile thingy. Yeah, it's definitely an Acker double tile thingy, my post. So those 24 pins that come from the digital, both the digital tiles, are used together to give the 24 pins necessary for this. The 16 here, sorry, eight here, and 16 on this side. And you can fit up to two of these on the NXT and these PMOD numberings are shown as if you're looking down from the top on the diagram if that helps clean it up and yes it, th these are fixed position Western it's you've you've got it goes digital 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 so it's four digital pins and then two power pins and I think it's ground and then three volt three depending which way you look into it whether you're looking out or in and then that's doubled so it's two layers so you have and each on the double P mod you'd normally have eight digital IO uh, two three volt threes and two grounds And that makes up what's known as a double P mod, which is like that. But sometimes people just refer to this as a P mod. But it's actually a double P mod because a P mod's actually half of that. Because a bare P mod is just four digital IOs. So you've got two, it's one on top of the other, effectively it's two rows and then this is a two double p mods next to each other with the pins filled in the middle which we use for analog and five volt which is what we used to call a mix mod which was backward compatible with the p mods you might not have known all of that history of course if you didn't have an mx because on the MX, all of them are mixed mods. Wow, that water's gone already. That's nice, cold. So let me just check here. Yeah, ignore the power lines for the moment on the on this board, um, I post because this board is wired wrong for power. Forget the power on here. Don't use the power. That's going to be fixed when the new boards come.
Yeah, don't don't try and find the power pins. Not on these because these are messed up compared to what they should be. Because there was a, there were mistakes on the PCB. But anyhow, this diagram makes sense now. The only thing I thought about is swapping P mods and tiles. Yeah, you can't use the power signals on this on these on these proto double tiles because there was a mistake. You will be able to on the um, replacement ones that I'm going to send. But you can use the IOs. Those are those are okay. Um, So is this diagram good now guys or do we need to make any more changes? Ooh, okay, keeping myself up. Let me just fill my water up again because it's all gone. So I think I post is straight now. I think he um, he understands what's going on. Hopefully Weston's picked some of that up as well. So the P mods on this diagram are basically what's represented when you fit these. But if we're, excuse me, if we're happy with that diagram, I will um, copy that. Yeah, forget the power I post, the routing issues on the PCB. That will all be solved with the new version. Right, so I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to update the... Um, board files uh, in fact I'm going to put this up here don't really want to go down there be fair. I should really have some copyright stuff in the tops of these files. I think I've got the solder pad license in the um, in one of the directory levels. I don't know. I need to check. I've got to go through this at some point. There's a bunch of stuff in here we're not even using, so. Um, but back to let's go back to where we were because we're meant to be working on that. We're meant to be working on this today. It 
So do we have everything we need in here and have we fixed the issues that we have in the PCF file? We just do a build, make sure that we're okay. Yeah, it's read the PCF file, okay. Uh, pin zero, hmm, tricky. I don't know how you put that on here. <sighs> yeah, that's tricky. How would we mark pin zero? Um, yeah, but this is the trouble. It does change depending on how you look at it, I post. But from the top, it could be indicated. Um, Hmm, tricky. I don't know of an easy way of doing that actually. I think Weston's got it as well, that's good. So we've certainly achieved something already this evening, which is nice. Because it can be mighty confusing with all the different connectors and stuff. And connectors connected to connectors. It's just one abstraction on top of another. Are the pins clockwise looking at the top, Laurie? Uh, tell you what I'm wondering I'm wondering if it should be the other way around
Thank you. Is it better with the P mods on the outside and the tiles on the inside? That's right, I post the P mods are always the same number because you're just replacing one tile with another, which is wired exactly the same. Positionally, it makes no difference. Whether you, if you were to swap the two tiles over, the P mods are still numbered the same because they're connected to the internal tile pins. Now I put the tiles on the inside because the connectors are on the inside whereas the P-Mod you connect from the outside plugging in. That's why I've done, that's why I've changed the um, order. So if you think about the tiles, they're inside the board parameter. Physically, the tiles are inside the perimeter, whereas P-Mods are outside the perimeter, or at least the things that plug into them. <laughs> but are you talking about the numbering? To a degree, you don't need to know the numbering because it's the P-Mod standard. But, yeah, if we're starting at zero, they're starting at one. That's not completely correct. But Yeah, as Laurie says, the way they number their P-Mods has always been a bit odd to me, frankly. But they started it, so, you know... We should definitely listen to them. I'm just going to update this because um, We did have a diagram for the um, MX at one point. The trouble is, it's nice to have it inside the PCF file, right? The only other thing that we could do, perhaps, to help is to do something like... Um, something like uh, you know
Did you say A at the top, B at the bottom? I can't remember. You know, that kind of thing, maybe. Or, hold on. If we do get a bit of fantasy. about that for some artistry so that's looking side on oh you want to add the free vault free and ground it's a good point I'm doing it slightly differently because I'm doing well what I'd probably do is do that because I'm using dots in between but that might not work as well Good old ASCII art. Oh. A bit over there. And I should probably. I 
forgot to do these. Backwards. Oh, shit. And too many. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. Three, two, <laughs> one. Zero. Thus. How about that? It's actually round the wrong way. It should be singles and doubles, shouldn't it? <coughs> should actually be. Um, it should be that way around. Right, let's give it. I'd say more like that. So it's always looking from the end on, so it doesn't matter whether it's the top or bottom, Laurie. 
I'm not including the mix mod, but we could do. If we lost the A and Bs, just have them at one end. These should be closer together, really, but it's not to scale. <laughs> this is definitely not to scale. It would be confusing to add the P mods, uh, to add the mix mod stuff. I mean, it would go like A A sorry A five volt A, and A ground A is it or is it? I can't remember which way around it is now. I'd have to check. But you don't want any more A's there when you're using row A. I mean, what you could have here would be possibly you'd also have to have the dots to be consistent with the other. And I think, is that five volts? I can't remember now. Is it five volts and ground or just five volts? Damned if I remember. And we probably have to do this as well, aren't we? From the PMOD point of view, you ignore the X's because they're not part of the PMOD standard, they're, they're part of the mix mod.
this is looking into the connector basically it's like the, that sort of thing obviously it is around the wrong way isn't it so when it, no I'd be looking at it like that so it's around the right way so you guys are looking at it around the right way kind of we happy with that any changes to that oops I think that's clear enough. Uh, yeah, I think that's the same as the camera. Yeah. The thing to notice is where the USB comes in. That's the um, the thing that uh, you can orient yourself with. Yeah. So if you look where the uh, USB comes in here on this side that gives you uh, an orientation because that corresponds to this basically I mean you could even have if you were going to be really cool about it you could do something like that
maybe getting too uh, clever for my own good here. <laughs> it just doesn't that imply that the board protrudes? But actually, the um, the USB cable does, <laughs> not the board. Um, but yeah, maybe. Yeah, um, I'm not sure if that works or not, having the USB thing. Maybe you could do that sort of thing. Never possibility. Uh, won't just help you I post it I think it would help anyone really when they come to use it Show sure, on bad position of this. That'll do. is good I 
and put this in the board file as well. Update that one. Right, that's pushed up as well now. Right, well, let's. Uh, that's probably going to do me or do us for today. I think that will do until next time. Much better than it was. Should be clear for folks, hopefully. I've just noticed the slant on here is shallower than the slant on here. Backspace versus, I think, sorry, backslash versus forward slash. The angles are different, surely. Never noticed that before. How annoying. Maybe that's just this font. How very odd. Never noticed that before. You're welcome, I post. This is weird. Look at that. The difference in the angle. How very strange. It is, it's definitely this font. If I change font, that'll probably look different. Right, okay folks, I'm calling it. Uh, I will be on Discord, of course, where we can continue conversations over the next few days. Um, and let's see how we go from here. I was going to continue adding the flash stuff for the firmware. We need to return to doing that. I don't know if I'm going to have a chance Friday. I'll see how I feel. I might be a bit knackered come Friday. Wednesday's better if we can do it. Yeah, well, have fun hacking my post. Right, ciao, folks.